Guys, I wanted to explore over here at this chemical plant up close and personal. Figured I'd take y'all along this week. So hang tight and hold on. left of the chemical plant this is the one that's visible from the road and yeah as a kid I used to climb all up on that one that didn't get killed let's walk on through here and see what Yes, in pretty rough shape. But at one time, this thing would have been booming. It came a little bit later than uh, than the Shelby Iron furnace. It came. This came about 1900, 1905, something like that. But I can actually remember these vats in the ground cistern for water I would suppose as a kid I remember seeing those full of funky looking water yeah you can see the lighting early lighting 1900s, early 1900s, when this was built on. It was just a pretty peaceful little walk out through here. Looking back towards Shelby Iron. turn y'all off for a second and we'll go down here and explore where they <clears throat> where they kept the coal at where the furnace would have been i'll be right with you guys before we get there i wanted to show y'all these opening to the cave now as child as a child we used to play in these and they of course wouldn't excavate it like this they were just a hole in the ground with some moss hanging and, and weeds all jagged and man that was living large jump down in there and playing uh war or whatever but yeah they those tunnels they run all up under the ground through here but yeah i thought i'd just share that with y'all now let's go on to the coal storage all right guys so uh we're down here to the excavated part of the coal storage and over this there would have been a building and all that and a, there would have been a smoke stack and uh 
this was just a spot where they kept the coal. But let me turn you around and I'll show it to you. That's it. What a cool spot. Wonder what's in the ground here. There's a lot of iron. Yeah, I mean, you'll dig all day with iron. But what a cool spot. No telling at the at the relics what's here. I mean, just craziness. But let's walk around and see if we can take a better look. Of course, some little knucklehead just came in here and and spray painted on the thing, but that's what it is. Hmm. Fork. Yep, this was the coal storage. And I bet if I brought a detector in here and swung, I could pull some cool relics out from under this ground right here. But you can see it opens up right there and goes up a pipe. So that's going somewhere. But yeah, that's a cool little spot. And there's an opening up under us as well, so obviously there's another building up under us or another walk area, what is yet to be excavated. This probably was the, yep, this was the coke oven or whatever you want to call it, the oven. Maybe the bottom of a smokestack. It's round. And the ones was still standing is square, so I would think that this one probably would be square if it was a furnace. This is, I don't know. If you know more about that stuff than I do, leave me a comment below and let me know. Oh, relic right off the ground. I have no idea what it is. Thought it was like a toe, maybe tab at first, but no, nope, it's iron. Cool, put it back where I found it. There's probably some shovels in there, some pitchforks. No telling. But yep, let's move on before it gets dark on us. Cool little spot. Guys, this is one of the coal storage areas. Uh, it hadn't been excavated yet. Uh, I would love to be a part of excavating this right here. No telling what's under there. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to show you this. Here's some more unexcavated coal storage areas. I guess that's what that would be. It may be an opening to something else, but if you'll look right there. You will see that's the case opening of a door. So I'm sure it goes back into there, which is a hump. So it's probably an opening in there in a room under there, I would suspect. <clears throat> but yeah, we're gonna have to check on getting into those. Guys, this is a cool piece they dug up. It's some type of circulating device, I suppose. I don't know. Looks like a double barrel shotgun, a huge giant's double barrel shotgun in the front. But it has a, uh, just wraps around at the end. So some kind of circulating device for heat. Must have dug it up from right there. There's some kind of metal frame or something melted to the ground there. Must have been a furnace there. Very cool. There's another one of those circulating devices. And maybe another behind it. Hmm. If you know what that is, let me know. Take a load off my mind. But it is beautiful right here with this sun going down. 
That's that area we were standing on a while ago where I said I think you can walk up under. Beautiful. We're gonna make it to the we're gonna make it to the ironworks. I mean listen at me. We're gonna make it to the uh, chemical plant in the back, I promise. Just keep getting hung up on this. Look, there's a room full of dirt. Amazing. All right, let's get going. Well, guys, this is the part of the chemical plant that you can't see from the road. The hidden spot. The one nobody knows about. It's getting dark on me pretty fast. I'm trying to get this all in before you before we're heading out of here with flashlights. But yeah, this is it. Some lovely people's been throwing trash in there. We need to add them to our prayer list. Ruining a historical site like this. But as a kid, I used to play all on this. Walk on those concrete slabs there which i know it ain't very high or it's pretty wide but hmm, one mess up would have been rough as a wee lad but this is it we'll walk down here and i'll show you the cistern or the whale i guess maybe a whale It just goes right on back through here. Pretty cool little pot right there. All handmade. Man. Hard just to live back then. Let's keep going. Goes downhill right over there. We'll stop her off right here and look. Have a look. keep hearing something in the wood beside me <clears throat> makes me think of a story my grandma told me about the hollering thing it's supposed to be a black panther that runs around in these woods and when it screams it sounds like a woman I always thought that was foolishness coming up and I heard it one night full wheeler riding I didn't think it was foolishness after that I thought it was weird because I talked to my granddaddy. My granddaddy told me back in the early 1900s, maybe the 1800s, Ringling, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus come through here. Shelby was kind of the spot to be back then. And uh, pulling up to the, to the weigh-in station or the station or whatever it was, they derailed. And a bunch of animals escaped. They got a lot of them back, but two panthers, black panthers, escaped. And they never found them. And legend goes that they bred and kept a population of panthers. Which could all be baloney, but I have heard something scream at night time. What sounded like a woman in the woods. Like a woman terrified for her life. And it scared me to death. I got on my four-wheeler and left there as quick as I could. But, yep. This is the chemical plant. Next week, I hope to have a uh, better video. It's been hectic this week. 
I appreciate all the subscribers. Man, y'all have been great. Uh, you know who you are. Awesome, awesome people. I love metal detecting in the family. The metal detecting family is awesome. Uh, you have any questions about your machine, you just get it out there somehow on your group of choice and bam, like a magic trick, usually you'll have the way to resolve that problem. And you meet a lot of cool people. But yeah, I thank y'all for the subscriptions. I thank y'all for watching my videos and those likes and all that. If you don't mind, continue to that. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and uh, I'll do my best to make good videos. I'll see you on the next hole. Guys, I appreciate y'all bearing with me this week. Don't run off yet. I got some cool photos, what I took today, and uh, I hope to see you back next week. If you would, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It really helps out a lot. God bless and happy hunting.